gun meme review. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? We've got a lot to go over this week. Gonna talk more about the Alec Baldwin thing. Gonna talk about the Springfield thing. Gonna talk about the BDU thing. But first, it was Halloween recently, and all of us celebrated in our own individual ways. Grantham celebrated by, well, out of context Grantham. What, uh, what you doing there, Mike? Carving out a piece of that pump cussy. Pump cussy. Pump, pumpkin pussy. But is it just pussy? And of course, I'm in Texas now, and apparently some of my few new fellow Texans went a little crazy this year. Karens. Guns are bad. No one should ever have one. Texans on Halloween. One gun per kid, please. Shit, man, am I too old for trick-or-treating? Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure that's a bowl of XDs and shit, and I'll... I'll pass. Don't worry, we'll get to Springfield soon. And for you Europeans, this is a joke photo. This didn't actually happen. Probably. Ah, the problem with trick-or-treating these days is you gotta come up with a costume. For women, it's easy. You just wear as little as possible. For guys, you gotta get a little creative, and creative some of you guys did. In fact, there was a new trend with Halloween costumes I saw this year. You guys dressed up as the Kenosha Kid himself. If anyone trick-or-treated at my door dressed like this, I would pull out the secret stash of the full-size candy bars. And probably offer him a backup mag. You never know. Speaking of Kyle Rittenhouse, you know, the kid who did nothing wrong, his trial actually just started on Monday. Judging by some of the early things coming out, uh, direct quotes from the judge, I think things are looking pretty okay for Kyle. But I'm sure this is a scary time for him, and so he could use some words of encouragement. You know, maybe an inspirational quote, like, you miss 100% of the pedos that you don't shoot. Wayne Gretzky. But moving right along, let's talk about Alec Baldwin. If you recall, we did an emergency gun meme review talking about the situation as far as the Alec Baldwin rust shooting. You know where Alec Baldwin didn't check his gun and, you know, got a conus kill and a collateral on his coworkers? Personally, I thought it was a good episode of gun meme review. You guys seem to agree, but there's a few more memes that have come out that I just, there was enough, I, I had to cover them this time around. Any firearms in the vehicle? No, sir, uh, only movie props. YouTube, I have no guns in the video. Just video props. I am not excited about YouTube's new rules, by the way. They just announced new content guidelines that I hope get fixed soon, but basically means I'm not gonna be able to be monetized on any full auto stuff, on any standard capacity magazines or greater. Really just some dumb rules coming down the pipeline that I hope get corrected. That's why it's super important to take care of the people who help us out with videos that we know probably aren't going to be monetized because YouTube is big poo poo. So I'd like to thank SDI for picking up the tab on this episode of Gun Meme Review. I know a lot of you guys are into the weird, crazy firearm modification stuff and just all around gunsmithing. If you wanna check them out, I'll leave the links down in the description and in the pinned comment. We appreciate their support. This is my prop gun. It's my problem solving right here. On that emergency gun meme review, I did say like, hey, well, what is the difference? People keep calling it a prop gun. What's the difference between a prop gun and a live gun if a live, if, a, if it's a, the prop gun shoots live ammo? People are quick to point out prop gun just means property, like it's a property of the studio. It's kind of common. Totally get that. I just don't understand. The media seems to be kind of giving him an out, saying it was just a prop gun. It's like, well, no, it's a fucking gun that just happened to be a property of the studio. Never trust an actor with a gun. Abraham Lincoln, probably. Yeah. Yeah, that happened, didn't it? Alec Baldwin versus John Wilkes Booth. Actor, shot someone. Democrat, hit what they were aiming for. Oh, well, other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how did you like the play? To break things up, Marty Robbins meme. Iron, and it's just iron. Unironically, just iron. Big iron, 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 big iron. Big iron, big iron. Iron, more iron, strong, having strong, can't read. <laughs> that one actually, you ever say a word so much it just loses all meaning? I iron, okay. If you're impressed with this A-rated content so far, be sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss it. We do gun meme review every first and third Thursdays, except for when we're late, which is usually. And while you're down there, leave a like for the algorithm. We appreciate it. Helps more people get exposed to great content like this. So Springfield just released a new pistol. They are making a reproduction Browning High Power. Kinda came out of left field, but okay. Me, making fun of everything Springfield has done for the last five years. SA-35. 
A lot of people are putting aside Springfield's kind of iffy reputation in the past and kind of iffy quality of firearms altogether because Browning, hey Springfield, what does it take to make a quality firearm? I don't know, what? See, I knew you wouldn't know. As always, bring on the people who've shot 100 rounds out of a Springfield ever. Say, M mine's just as good, there's nothing wrong with mine, 20 rounds and running good. I don't care that you own an XD, I really don't. That's, you know, good for you, do what you want. I only care when you say it's just as good when you and I both know it was just $80 cheaper than a Glock. To make things worse, at the announcement that Springfield was going to be releasing a high power, they did a promotion saying, we're bringing it back. EAA, who already makes a high power clone, uh, immediately screenshotted and photoshopped it, saying, it's already been brought. Springfield Armory's attorneys can't really take a joke. So over a Facebook post, Springfield is started to sue the shit out of EAA. This might be kind of entertaining considering these are two companies I really don't care about duking it out, so uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Speaking of which, here's a new meme template for you guys. It came from a skit from some of my friends and the screenshot was just too good not to meme. I think it fits pretty well in this context. Yeah, I think I'm done talking about Springfield, uh, especially after I tell you that you can find uh, original high powers for cheaper than what Springfield has released them for. Moving on. So, Big Daddy Unlimited stepped in it again. Now, before we even go into any of this, I know what you guys are saying. Big Daddy Unlimited's been a sponsor of your channel before. Isn't this a conflict of interest? Well, first of all, you guys should know by now, I say whatever the fuck I want. I have never been worried about losing a sponsor. Sure, sometimes I'll take the payday and get ad reads like uh, read Shadow Legends and, and, you know, mobile game ads and whatever. You can pretty much tell if I'm reading a script, it's not my actual thoughts. It's, you know, I'm being paid to read a script. It's like a commercial. I'm pretty sure you guys understand that. But as far as normal, like sponsor plugs, I have more sponsors than I can make videos for. So I'm not worried about losing any. So what you hear from me is always actually what I think at the time. So if BDU does something fucking stupid, I feel perfectly comfortable calling them out for it. So is that what happened here? Well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about what they did and let's talk about what I think about it. So BDU has stepped in it a couple times recently. A notable recent example was their competitor to the Rare Breeds Trigger, uh, where Rare Breeds is actively fighting the ATF and Big Daddy Unlimited, instead of supporting them, comes out with their own version of this same trigger, uh, the Force Reset Trigger style. Kind of a shitty move. Of course, it looks like Big Daddy Unlimited was actually in the legal right. You know, it was not actually patent infringement. It was a totally different thing, but same concept. Even then, really shitty optics, right? Well, always one to outdo themselves. Their media guy decided to sponsor a gun buyback. What? Gainesville Police Department, gun buyback today. The Gainesville Police Department Office of the State Attorney Brian Kramer, 8th Judicial Circuit, Big Daddy Guns. We'll talk about what actually happened, but first let's go over some of the memes because uh, this went over exactly as well in the meme sphere as you think. Having a stupid name. Never having anything in stock. Getting into a patent infringement case against Rare Breed while they're fighting an ATF case that's important to everyone. Sponsor a gun buyback event. Having pro 2A and pro customer morals and principles. Fucking over the community, having scummy business practices, and sponsoring gun buybacks. Another. Me after seeing Big Daddy Unlimited pull another two-phase piece of shit move. So what the fuck happened here? So according to Big Daddy Unlimited and people I know there directly, uh, they all they did was uh, donate gun safes and uh, firearm training on site there. They didn't actually sponsor the gun buyback itself. They were just on site basically trying to give, give away free training and free, free gun safes for people to feel safer storing these guns in their house. Is that wrong? I don't fucking think so. Does it look fucking horrible? Yeah, <laughs> it kind of does. I've said this multiple times in different contexts, but it's like Big Daddy Unlimited has everything. They, they are set up to be a major success in the industry. They just keep shooting themselves in the foot. Like I have a slight conspiracy theory that whoever is running uh, their, their media management or whatever over there uh, actively wants the company to fail. Like it's that bad. I won't get into a bunch of shit on the back end, but it's just about as much of a mess there as it is from what you guys can see. But honest question for you guys, gun buybacks, good or bad? Cause you know me, I'm a pro 2A absolutist, NFA is bullshit, all gun laws are infringement kind of guy. Clarifying terms, when I say gun buyback, I'm not talking about like some Australia bullshit where you're forced to do a, a buyback, that's horseshit. I'm talking about the voluntary like police set up somewhere and offer you a hundred dollar Amazon gift card for, you know, the, the Jericho with the serial number scratched off and full amnesty. Do you think that's good or bad to do? 
Because personally, I'm conflicted. I'll tell you the good and then I'll tell you the bad just so you like kind of figure out my thinking on this. Part of me is okay with it just because anybody who's willing to, if you always, if you look, it's always like a $50 gift card, $100 gift card, some shit like that. Uh, or $200 gift card for an assault weapon, some shit like that. Anybody who values a gun that little or is that desperate to get rid of them, I don't know if they're the kind of person that I want to have that gun. They're typically not your safe, responsible, gun-toting Americans, you know? So if they want to go in and voluntarily get rid of it, get it off the street, and potentially get stolen guns back to their owners, because let's face it, like, a lot of the guns circulating in the uh, ne'er-do-well circles are stolen guns that if the police run the numbers, they'll know who got it stolen. That scenario is not too bad for me. What I don't like is in places like, I guess, California, New York, New Jersey, wherever, if they're doing a gun buyback like this, how many, like, military surplus rifles or, or weapons that, you know, have historical value get put in the fucking crusher. I'm sure a place like Texas or maybe even Florida, again, uh, would have something like, you know, uh, some, an auction to, to raise money for, you know, local police or something like that and get these guns into the hands of, like, collectors. That would be really cool. But I just hate to imagine the number of, like, priceless collectibles that have been crushed through shit like this. Anyhow, that's just my thinking. Uh, I'm not really sold on either way yet. Just kind of wanted to hear your thoughts. As for BDU, Jesus Christ, guys. I know you're trying to do good, but it would probably help if you just had a meme page, like, on payroll at some point. Just kind of like, before you do anything, consult them and ask, you know, hey, will this look fucking terrible to the industry? Because he'll be able to tell you, and if the answer is yes, you should probably not do that thing. Anyhow, let's lighten things back up again with some more gun memes. When the guy next to you mag dumps his 8-inch 5.56 with a big-ass break. If you are that guy at the range, I probably pissed in your gas tank. Something about shorty 5.56s are just massively fucking concussive. And of course you have to have that giant muzzle brake to tame that awful 223 recoil. Me, on gun brokered, trying to figure out how prices just jumped $400. <laughs> Look at that handsome bastard. Yeah, speaking of which, I have a auction to check on. Not winning, what the hell do you mean? Yeah, my gun buying problem is reaching new heights. Also for funsies. My mom, when I show her a meme on my phone, it's a mom thing. Now, HK gets a lot of shit because they always, you know, import only the shit nobody wants. And if they do import the shit people want, they import it in a configuration that's just not sexy. Which is why I got a little crossover from the cursed gun images for you guys here. If HK really ever imports the MP7. Also, 10 round single stack mags, ultra comply, and special bolt that only feeds from a single stack. This goes to show you that Germany overdosed on based back in the day, and they've been suffering ever since. Dr. Fauci, killing puppies, the AFT. Yeah, sure, David Chipman didn't get the job, but you know what, Fauci seems like a logical runner-up given how many puppies he's killed. You know, as soon as we realize that he's been basically wrong about everything he's ever said. So also actually makes him a pretty good candidate for the ATF. Seriously, if you haven't seen that Fauci puppy thing, you should probably check that out. I don't need a suppressor and I don't want to pay $200. Shooting suppressed. Ooh. Seriously, if you've never shot suppressed, it'll change the world. I didn't think I needed a suppressor either for a long time. And then I, then I, I got one and now I have like 12. <laughs> it's like if you've been colorblind your whole life and you realize what you've been missing. And speaking of which, absolutely nobody. Guys who got nods within the last 24 hours. Yeah, pretty much. Bravo 6 going broke. We own the early afternoon. I should probably find a way to put these in a video soon. Photographer. Okay, you two hold hands, and you, in the back, hold a gun to that guy's head. Nice. I'll add blush and post. Yeah, old gun photos are pretty fucking whack. Don't worry, guys, it's a prop gun. But why are you here? I thought you were financially stable. feeling kind of called out right now. You guys think this is bad. <laughs> One day we'll do a shop tour and you guys can see the new gun wall we're building there. Also, I'm not sure if I've ever told you guys, that wall keeps going off camera. And then there's the random shit that is on my desk. I told you, I have a problem, okay? I feel like this has been a pretty long episode of Gun Meme Review, but that's, I guess, to make up for the fact that we didn't get to do our regular Monday, Tuesday upload. Sorry about that, guys. Had some things fall through, but I promise you, we will be back on Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> so be sure you don't miss it. Go ahead and click that notification icon and be sure that you are still subscribed, especially if you like Escape from Tarkov. Spoiler alert.
Anyhow, that's all I've got for you this episode of Gun Meme Review. I appreciate you guys. And as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Fuel is my obsession to make the perfect weapon Like us put things right to the top But I can't let you can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop Gonna talk more? Gonna talk more about the owl? Fuck, I can't talk. To make things worse, at the announcement of the high power being brought back by